Hey guys, Artosis here, and I am bringing you another Moonlight Pro League match. So this match is a four on four. It's between a team of Hyun, Ample, Ruin, and Scan going up against Saxry, 815, Motive, and Noob. So some very strong pro gamers in this team battle. Uh, there will be a lot of games coming up uh, with those players all kind of going off against each other. So let me go ahead and introduce these players in the right bottom of ascension our zerg player saxry and his opponent for this first match is going to be none other than yun work on those zoom ins all right so uh, i hope that you guys have been enjoying uh the moonlight pro league matches uh just to kind of sum it up moonlight pro league uh is basically a crowdfunded pro league style match event that happens uh pretty late at night in korea right so like basically the pro gamers are all sitting around playing practice games against each other and the fans want more they want something more competitive going on with some hype with some prize money uh and so they kind of just put their money together fund some of these events and i think that they're really cool it's it's like a very fun thing these players are all players taking it really super seriously i would say that none of these players are really um they they're they're all still very hungry right like sometimes you get championship level players and they've won so much that it's like okay are they going to practice as hard these guys are still looking for that and i think that that makes these games really competitive and really awesome so i hope that you're enjoying the moonlight pro league uh, just one of the many different types of tournaments i want to be showing here at artosis casts uh and thank you again for watching please subscribe and uh yeah and hit that notification button it's very much appreciated guys all right so it's a zerg versus zerg as you've seen already and of course we have mirrored builds going on right hatchery first on both sides uh this overlord from saxry goes over and spots this overlord so he's going to be scouting hyun first it's not going to be that big of a deal because hyun of course uh doing the same build here as saxry so when they both take that fast expansion right it's like you have to keep the balance of are we going mass slings against each other are we trying to slip some lings in and do some damage how many drones are we trying to make? Are we rushing up to those mutalisks? And that's going to be kind of where this gets interesting. Like how how much uh, can actually be done with the Zerglings? Can you get damage onto those drones? Can you kind of dictate the flow of your game and have a slightly bigger economy and get into those mutalisks for the finish? Well, that's definitely something we're going to end up seeing here pretty soon. Layer started on this side as well as this side. Both sides not making many Zerglings, of course. We'll see if one side ends up making more than the other. It looks like both have three sets being made already. Drone being made here as well from Hyun. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing really out of the ordinary yet. Speed being delivered on both sides, and you can see just how mirrored this mirror matchup is. It really looks very, very similar right now. Now, this is kind of one of the interesting things about Ascension, right? is this is the quickest entrance to someone's base is this tiny little choke here but of course you can set up just a few zerglings and hold it quite easily now of course you can run around but you have to run pretty far around right you have to go way up here up these ramps down some ramps over here wrap around and down these ramps so uh if you do try to do that of course your opponent can figure out that that's happening and move back into position at that point now a good amount of zerglings being made on both sides you see, kind of interesting, Saxory is holding this area and then keeping some forwardlings, whereas over on this side, Hyun just keeping a line right there, not going up to this choke or anything, because, of course, it is a rotationally symmetric map, so it would be a little bit quicker for Saxory to just run in straight up. All right, a single ling goes down, and look, this is actually a lot of lings for Saxory right now. Let's take a look. Uh, it looks like Hyun has made two additional drones, so he might want to make a sunken. Yeah, okay. He does throw down that creep colony. So definitely going to be going up to a sunken. We have the spire on the way. We have the spire on the way. This is a really important moment right now. Uh, Saxory is making an additional drone at home. We still have uh, these lings being made. And I think if you sit back in a very defensive arc here as Hyun, you actually have a slight advantage. He's up one drone, and he has the static D of the one sunken, which is worth much more than a couple of zerglings. So let's see what Saxory can do. I think once you get up here and see exactly what your opponent has, you can't you can't bust that, right? You have such similar amount of links. Look, the supply is the same. It's just a one drone advantage for Hyun. 
So now, while that does feel like an advantage, right? He does have that one additional drone. He does have some static D, both of which are powerful. Don't forget that that means we do have more Zerglings over here. So there is more map control for Saxer right now. And I know that it seems insane, but this is what ZVZ is, man. Lots of aggression and uh, even a couple units, things like one drone or, or four lings difference does make a big difference. Now, both sides hatching their mutalisks right now. No real scuffles as of yet. No units actually lost except for the one scout zergling uh, of Hyun. All right, mutas being made. Saxory is hatching a couple of scourge here as well. We'll see uh, just how aggressive these guys end up becoming. The overlords, of course, being sent away on all sides. This overlord is going to fend for himself up there. And the battle will commence pretty shortly here, I think. I know that this has been actually one of our more quiet Zerg vs. Zergs, right? Normally, you see Zerg vs. Zergs, and they are just like pure aggression the entire time. But it's been such a mirrored match. And I guess the scout got there quickly enough that they both just know it inside out. And no real sense, right? Like your opponent makes that sunken, you can't really attack in. And obviously, if you made more drones than your opponent, you can't attack him. So here we are. All right, so still a one drone lead here for Hyun. Of course, they both do have their natural gases up in mining. Looks like the extra drone is here on the minerals. So just a little bit more income. It's like a single ling trying to get in and get a little bit of information as well. Let's keep an eye here on Saxory's units here. The uh, Muta's flying over, killing off this chasing ling. <laughs> Seriously, every little thing in Zerg vs. Zerg is something that you need to be worried about. The amount of damage that even a single Zergling can inflict is pretty monumental. All right, the Ling runs in, gets a little bit of a scout going. Let's take a look at Mutalist counts. Okay, so we have seven here. Of course, he is hatching a couple more. Eight with two more on the way, right? Yep, eight with two more on the way. Where are our Mutas here? Okay, so we have nine with two on the way right now. So it's it's very, very close. And don't forget, we do have the Scourge as well. You can see a little bit more gas banked for Hyun. I think they've actually mined approximately the same amount of gas. So we just kind of have to wait for him to catch up as far as producing out of his larva. I believe he's also made uh, less Scourge so far, but he's starting to pop a bunch out now. So uh, this is actually something that you can see sometimes is as you start to hit a high supply in ZVZ, you keep a group of mutas, you make everything else in a Scourge because you can only properly micro one group. These lings of Saxry just clearing out some of the, or the mutas of Saxry clearing out some of the lings here of Hyun. I tell you, this is, this is like building, there's a lot of tension building in this game right now. They both know that this is going to be decided in a flash. All right, lots of Scourge on both sides. Look at these Scourge clouds. My God, 16 Scourge. 16 Scourge. Oh, okay, here we go. This is absolute madness. And it looks like Hyun might be taking the lead here. Look at that, getting on top of Saxory's Mute. There's still quite a few Scourge left over. Six versus six. Hold on, though. Actually, Hyun getting less, but he still has those Scourge there as well. The Scourge starting to connect, and suddenly he does, in fact, have more. Ooh, it looks like he kills off some of those a uh, Scourge as well. I think Hyun took slightly a better battle here. So we have five Munas left. Some of them pretty bruised. Four left, all very bruised. Okay, so definitely that looked a little bit better there for Hyun. In the meantime, uh, we did have those Lings run in. It looks like during all those uh, Mutalisk battles, we had the Sunken die as well as the Lings. We're at the same drone count now. So I guess at least Saxry did equalize that. Okay. Now, the rebuilding of these Mutalisks. It's like nine Mutas. <laughs> I don't know where that guy was, what he was doing over there, but it uh, does come back home. All right, almost back up to that full group that we were talking about before. Let's take a look over at Saxry's base. Yeah, he's already got his full group up. Scourge are being purchased on both sides. Actually, a few more mutas here for Saxry. So it seems like that might be uh, the name of the game for him. No carapace upgrade, no carapace upgrade. So, yeah, even as far as that goes, but more Scourge on Hyun's side. Are the Scourge going to come out victorious or the extra mutalisks that we're seeing for Saxry? Obviously, mutalisks have, like, more staying power than a Scourge, considering as soon as the Scourge hit, it dies. 
but Scourge just deals so much damage for such a cheap price, so a lot of times they are the deciding factor. Just gotta make them hit. All right, here we go. This is the battle right now coming in. He does have less Scourge. Let's see if he can actually get those Scourge to connect, though. Oh, my God. How many are left here for Saxory? It looks like he has a solid eight left. And for Hyun, eight as well. And wait a minute. Who is actually... I think Hyun did it. Yeah, more Scourge coming in here as well. And it looks like that is going to be that. An absolutely uh, domination move here from Hyun, who takes the first map.